good morning children we are going to start another class today and we are going to take a reader today and lesson 7 i hope you might have already learned lesson 6 the question answers and the meanings that i had given to you now look at the textbooks again turn to page number 50 lesson 7 first day at school first day at school are you remembering your first day in your life when you had gone to school on the first day were you scared excited or curious did you go with your parents or did you go alone what happened when you left your parents and entered the, into the classroom how did your day go on that day you were happy or you were sad or you were crying on that day by missing your parents and here you have a lesson about a girl who went to school on the first day shall i read the lesson look into your textbook we'll go through the lesson and you can see a surprise at the end of the story jagni wouldn't get out of bed birds were chirping in the garden granny was half way through her morning pajamas grandpa was huffing through his breathing exercise but jagni wouldn't stir from bed today was her first day at school and she was scared to death her mom reminded her for the 16th time that she was getting late for school she lay huddled up her eyes screwed shut and said please mom i'll go tomorrow promise promise her mom came and sat at her bedside and she held Rahi's hand and said come now you are a big girl and you go and wash up fast your breakfast is getting cold Tavni held on to her mom's hand and kept moaning no i won't go there i don't know anybody there please mom i won't i can't okay now see again that paragraphs up to there in the beginning where was she she was on her bed and it was early morning we can see in that paragraph the birds were chirping in the garden that means the birds were making noise and granny was halfway through her morning pajam she was praying and the grandpa was huffing through his breathing exercise okay huffing means breathing loudly when we are doing any exercise like running or jogging or walking or anything okay huffing underline that word huffing huffing means breathing loudly when you are doing any exercise but ragni won't stir from bed she did not get up from her bed today was her first day at school and she was scared to death okay so from that sentence we will know that she was very scared and she was scared to go to school her mom reminded 
around for the 16th time that she was getting late for school. Always when we are going to school, we have to go on time. But here, Ragni was getting late and she lay huddled up. Huddled up means holding her arms and legs close to her body. Okay, while we are sleeping on the bed, we used to do that. We were holding our hands and legs together under the bed sheets and we may sleep. And her eyes screwed shut. That means she closed her eyes and said, Please, mom, I'll go tomorrow. Promise. Promise, mom. She was pleading to her mother. By the time the mother sat on her bed and she held Daphne's hand and said, What did she say? Come now, you are a big girl, aren't you? Go and wash up first. Your breakfast is getting cold. She did not tell that you ready, get up, ready, get up fast and get ready and go to school. She did not tell in that way. Instead of that, she was telling that your breakfast is getting cold. You get up from the bed. But she did not do that. And Diagni held on her mom's hand and kept moaning. Moaning means... Here the word, you see the difference? It is not a morning, early time of a day. Here in a low voice. She was telling in a low voice, No, I won't go there. I won't go there. I don't know anybody there. Please, mom, I won't. I can't. She was pleading to her mother. Then see the next page. Then Granny came and Grandpa. They took turns trying to change her mind. There the Granny and Grandpa, they were doing their best to make her to get up from her bed. It's a lovely school. It has a huge grassy playground and a flower garden bigger than ours, they told her. But what about the children? Ragni whined. Whined means complained in a slow voice. What if they stick chewing gum to my hair? What if they draw funny pictures of me on the whiteboard? They all laugh at me. So she was telling her, experience that she had in another school okay she was telling that they may stick chewing gum on my hair or they may draw funny pictures on the whiteboard and grandpa and granny granny were laughing at her by hearing that don't be silly you will make friends with the kids just like that. Granny, snap her fingers. Okay? You will have lots of fun together. Grandpa said. Okay? Don't be silly. You will make friends with the kids just like that. Granny, snap her fingers. Okay? When you are doing it with the finger like this, this is called a snap. And you will have loads of fun together, Grandpa said. But Ragni was still scared. It was she who would be facing the children, not them. What if they put a lizard inside her bag? Ragni shivered and the thought. Okay? She had another experience that somebody had put lizard in her bag. Okay, she was very scared of it and even she is scared of thinking about it. Okay, and she felt very scared. Danny was not silly. She didn't hate 
did say that. In fact, she was quite intelligent and popular. But every time she had to face strangers on her own, she would get very nervous. Okay? So, Tangani was not a silly girl. She did not hate even the friends or her kids. In fact, she was quite intelligent even. She was very clever and she was very popular. And every time she had to face strangers, that means the persons that she doesn't know. And she would get very nervous. So when the strangers are coming to her, in front of her or in, in her house, she become very nervous. The big clock in the hall suddenly began to strike. It was nine. Mom, Granny, and Grandpa had long gone. Tahani's dad came into her room. Okay? Here, when the clock struck nine o'clock in the room, her Grandpa, Granny, and her mother gone from the room. And who ended there? Daphne's dad. Okay? Daphne's dad came into her room. See him enter. Ragni shut her eyes as if she were asleep. Dad said in a firm voice, I want you to be ready in 10 minutes. I will drop you at the school. I am getting late for office. So, what was the answer of her? She did not do any answer there. And what did her father tell her to do? Dad said her in a firm voice. Firm voice means in a hard voice. I want you to be ready in how many minutes? Within 10 minutes. I will drop you at the school. I am getting late for office. Okay. Now see up to there. And now you understood the story up to there. Okay. Now read that much. Okay.